been so long. I think it's been over a year now since I did my last post. Um, I'm so sorry. Everything's been going amazing, but I just straight up disappeared, kind of like my hair. So my hair is actually growing out from a mohawk. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was pregnant and I didn't even know that I was pregnant yet, and I think my hormones were just going crazy, and I was like, oh my gosh, my hair's long, and I went and I just chopped it and I had a mohawk for a while and then two days later after I chopped it all off I found out that I was pregnant and then I cried because I'm like oh, now I'm gonna have to actually do my hair I'm gonna look like a fat pregnant boy it was bad <laughs> I have someone to introduce you to Ta -da. <laughs> this is my baby girl Rose she is incredible I have been having so much fun with her um, I got so sick though during the pregnancy that I just was not even thinking about a camera or making videos or documenting anything and I wish now that I feel better and she's out that I would have but I was just in a cave absolute baby cave but now that she's out it's been absolutely incredible <laughs> she's been so sweet I'd always pictured having like three boys running around all dirty you know playing outside and um, when she came out she totally melted my heart and I want 10 more just like her she's three months old she was born on July 17th and I filmed the birth at home and I will never post it online. <laughs> I will scare people away from home births. Thankfully it went great, it was four hours, but it was not beautiful. It was not um, anything that I would want anyone to see ever or her to see or me to see <laughs> again. This video would not portray birth as a miracle of life. <laughs> um, she came out when I was like climbing onto my bed and like the midwife happened to catch her before she fell on the ground. Like it was just, yeah, no, it wasn't great. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little intimidated from the thought of switching from one to two. I mean, people would literally see me pregnant and see me pushing, you know, my son and say, oh, you just wait. You know, it doesn't double, it triples in the amount of work uh, that when you have two kids and it just exponentially gets harder. And I was like, oh my gosh, so I was really worried about it. And then people are like, you live in such a small house, how are the kids even gonna sleep? And they're gonna go stir crazy, you're gonna go stir crazy, blah, blah. Anyway, it's been amazing. She has just been the best baby in the whole entire world. And I think because I was maybe preparing myself for the worst, that I then was just so relieved when it went so smooth. Um, my son Harvey, who is now two and a half, uh, does not like her yet, but we are working on that. And um, I think pretty much all he says is hit baby woes or no like it, move and shoves her over. But he's he is getting um, slowly more and more used to her. Um, she's been an amazing sleeper. She slept through the night just like my son from four weeks on. I mean, like 12 hours every night, no hiccups, no interruption. And Honestly, I've been using the exact same principles that I have in my earlier video, how to get your baby to sleep through the night, and it's worked great. I mean, with one kid, I thought, well, maybe he's just a good sleeper, and I think that I'm doing the right thing, but now with her, um, you mean using my same routine on her, it's been amazing, and she just totally is cogged out and sleeps totally through the night. So. Uh, if your baby's not, or if you have a friend whose baby's not, I highly recommend you to go back and watch that video because I wouldn't add or change a thing to it. It's exactly what I'm doing with her now, and she's an incredible sleeper. Yay! Yay! Just my initial thoughts on having two. Uh, first off, the pregnancy, it was better than the first one. Um, I was not quite as sick, however, I still was vomiting a lot, and I was still sick all the way till the end. I did have to take some medication to not throw up in order to keep down enough food. Um, I did also gain um, more weight even though I was sick. I still gained um, lots more weight uh, with her than I did with my son, but that's just because I was eating more because I felt a little bit better than I did the first time around. And so um, consequently now it is harder um, to lose the weight after the pregnancy. I gained almost 60 pounds for the second pregnancy. Now that she's three months old, I still have a long way to go and I'm not fitting into my normal jeans and stuff yet. But I'm in no rush. Um, however, because I did gain so much more weight, I am going to have to do a little bit more uh, than just breastfeeding and stuff. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on what I'm eating and make sure that I'm paying attention. Um, not dieting necessarily, but just paying attention, um, being careful about it. So, um, uh, so yeah, so the pregnancy was better, um, but the labor, I... Everybody everybody told me that for baby number two, the labor would be easier and faster than the first one. 
do not go into your second or third or fourth labor thinking, oh, it's going to be easier or faster than all the others. Yeah, so just don't, don't psych yourself out for it because you might be a little bit disappointed. Um, but hopefully you won't be, and then it'll be even better because you'll be expecting the worst and hoping for the best. But with my first son, I did have a little postpartum for about three, four weeks after. I was really depressed and mopey and just kind of weepy. And with her, I haven't been at all. So that's been really, really nice. So um, I think part of it is just because I know what to expect. And the other part may just purely be hormones, maybe because it's a girl, it's different, I don't know, but it's just been such a better transition. Um, also, um, uh, not only has it not been like so much harder with two, but it's, I actually feel more productive and more useful because I'm already, with one kid, I, you know, you're already, I'm already staying home, I'm already doing cloud diapers, I'm already cleaning up spit up, I'm already doing that, but now that I have two, it's like, alright, it's not like tons of extra work, but I'm raising two kids now, so I feel so much more productive, I'm like, alright, like, makes it way more, even worth it, you know, than just with the one, not that I would, you know, need to feel, um, you know, like, even more validated than I did, but it just, it has helped a lot having the two. I think part of the reason that it has been such an easy and smooth transition with two is that I have changed my expectations um, of myself and what I can do and what I can accomplish in one day. <laughs> so whereas before, I could, you know, clean the whole house, get all the meals ready, do laundry and get that done in a whole day, and, you know, with other stuff, pay the bills, blah, blah, blah. I just am like, I, I section up things and I split them up among the days and I don't expect myself to do everything every single day that I was doing before. So that's helped. So don't, just make sure that you're being realistic with your time and that you're not trying to be super mom and to do it all because um, you're just going to frustrate yourself and frustrate your kids. Okay, I have so many fun video ideas that I want to do and so many fun things that I've learned. Um, I need to give you guys a house tour because... Um, it's been so fun. We are still living in this small 850 square foot house. It's over 100 years old. We've totally re-renovated almost every room now ourselves and it's been so fun and we've done it all on a budget. So I'm going to give you guys one big house tour and then kind of go room by room and show you what we did because we've saved a lot of money, totally personalized it, made it custom and cute and just had a blast. I mean, I live in a home that I absolutely love and is totally me and is affordable and allows me to stay home with my kids, so it's been great. Now, I know that I can't claim that I live in the tiny house or that I'm part of the tiny house movement because it's 850 square feet and people um, are all snobby about the tiny house, like, oh, it has to be like 125 square feet or under 350 square feet to be considered a tiny house. Well, that's like one person living in it, whereas I have, I still, our, you know, my sister is still living with us, she's in high school, so I have three kids and my husband and I all in an 850 square foot house. So the fact that we're able to do that so practically with three kids and um, my husband and I has been great and we just love it. So I really want to share that with you. We also built a greenhouse out of recycled windows. Um, I'm going to show you guys that. I have a porch. I love my porch. You guys are going to get to see my porch. It's so great. Um, also, we're going to be traveling internationally again with um, uh, now our two kids. So um, I'll bring you guys along and show you um, that process. We're going to be going down to Belize to an orphanage that our family helps run. I'm excited about it, so you guys will get to be a part of that. Pretty much it. I mean, I've been pregnant, I've been renovating the house, um, just been having fun and just cuddling and, you know, poopy diapers, snotty noses and the whole bit and just been loving every minute of it. So um, I look forward to getting back on track and doing more videos. And um, I've missed you guys. <laughs> I've missed doing this, so this will be fun. Can you say bye? Bye. 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 Yum. Yum. Yum.